Fifin Davitea. Fifin Farnevich Davitea Georgian. T. Yop Ain Piarnas Ye David Aya. 2 15 September 1911. In Village Eki. Now Seneki Municipality, Georgia. 29 July 1979. In T. Georgia was a Georgian geographer, climatologist, and agrometeorologist. Doctor of Agricultural Sciences 1951. Academician of the Academy of Sciences of the Georgian SSR 1960. Honored scientist of the Georgian SSR 1966. Became a member of the CSU in 1939. Javitea was professor of the universities of Leningrad 1950-1951 and Moscow 1955-1961. In Moscow, for several years, he also delivered lectures at the courses for the improvement of professional skill at the Central Board of Hydrometeorological Service, USSR Council of Ministers. From 1963, Davitea continued educational work at T. Balasi State University, directing a large number of postgraduates who successfully developed his ideas in their research. For 15 years, Davitea was a member of the Scientific and Technological Council of the USSR Ministry of Agriculture. He took an active part in the work of the State Commission for the strain testing of agricultural crops on the territory of our vast country. He participated in the preparation of the many-volume Fundamental Edition Ampelography of the USSR. Biography Fifin Davitea was born on 15 September 1911 in the mountainous village of Eki, Tiskakea District, Georgia, where he went to elementary school. From 1909, Davitea's father worked in Poti as a stevedore. Later, his large family also moved to Poti. In 1927, Fifin Davitea finished secondary school in Poti, and on the recommendation of the town YCL committee was given the job of loader of manganese, or at the Poti port. After entering Tbilisi University in 1928, Davitea combined his study with work at the Weather Bureau of the Tbilisi Geophysical Observatory. While a postgraduate student, Davitea came out with a number of initiative suggestions on the organization of scientific work. Of these, mention should be made of his well-founded suggestion published in the Izvestia newspaper on the setting up of a scientific committee attached to the government of the USSR. In 1936, Davitea successfully defended his thesis for a candidate's degree on the climatic zones of the vine in the USSR, which was published as a monograph in 1938. By 1950, Davitea summed up his research in his monograph study of the climates of the vine in the USSR and the basis of their practical use, which he defended brilliantly as a doctoral thesis in agricultural sciences. The monograph, published in 1952, has become a desk book of viticulturists, winemakers, and agroclimatologists. In 1964 minus 1965, Davitea worked at the Academy of Sciences of Cuba directing a group of Soviet consulting scientists engaged in a study of the country's natural resources. Jointly with Soviet and Cuban scientists, he conducted extensive work for the preparation of a national atlas of Cuba. As a result of processing the materials of long-term meteorological observations, Davitaire wrote a scientific monograph, Climatic Resources of Cuba, which was published jointly with I. I. Trusov in Spanish Havana, 1965. A somewhat modified version of that monograph was published in Tbilisi in Russian 1966. This book was highly appraised in a number of published reviews, including one in the United States. To mark this important event in the scientific life of the Republic of Cuba, in 1965 the Cuban Academy of Sciences conferred on Davitea the title of co-founder of the Institute of Geography in Havana, presenting him with a diploma. Davitea's scientific missions abroad were combined with geographical excursion expeditions. Among them particularly fruitful in the scientific respect were his travels in Brazil, Cuba, the United States, Ireland, and the PRC. The results of those travels were used in developing the climatic criteria for the identification. In 1967 minus 1968, at the invitation of the University of Wisconsin, Davitea delivered a course of lectures on contemporary problems of climatology, 
and agrometeorology for the postgraduates and professors of the Department of Geography. During his stay in the USA, Davitea published papers in American scientific journals. His monograph, Methods of Agricultural Assessment of Climate, was published in the same period. The numerous articles and papers contributed by Davitea to newspapers and popular magazines reflected the achievements of Soviet agrometeorology and geography, making this evidence available to broad sections of the public. In 1972, at the 22nd World Geographical Congress Canada, Fifan Davitea was elected vice president of the International Geographical Union. At the 1976 International Congress in Moscow, at that Congress, he directed the work of the section of climatology, hydrology, glaciology, and oceanography. At the Roman 14 Geographical Congress of Czechoslovakia in 1978, Davitea read a paper on the topic present day problems of geography. At that Congress, he was elected an honorary member of the Czechoslovak Geographical Society. In 1978, Davitea directed the UNESCO Project 6 1 Man and Biosphere. In the same year, at the invitation of the International Geographical Union, he participated in a conference on regional geography in Nigeria. In the same year, Davitea was one of the organizers of a Soviet Indian symposium in Tbilisi on the study of regional geographic problems as well as of a Bulgarian Soviet field symposium. For his scientific studies, Fifan Davitea was awarded the All Union Prize and Diploma of the USSR Academy of Sciences and the All-Union Leninist Youth League 1938, the prizes and first-class diplomas of the Leningrad Regional Committee of the Liksu 1939, the prizes for the USSR Ministry of Food Industry 1949 and of the... In 1971 he was awarded the State Prize of the Georgian SSR on 20 February 1972. He was awarded the diploma and gold medal of the Academy of Sciences of Cuba. In 1973, Davitea was awarded the State Prize of the USSR for his participation in the compilation of the National Atlas of Cuba. In 1980, Fifan Davitea was posthumously elected honorary member of the Cuban Speleological Society for his outstanding services and great contribution to the development of Cuban geography. Fifan Davitea's services have been recognized by the award of five orders, 12 medals, and governmental and scientific decorations. Decorations. Davitea's scientific and public activities were a model of selfless service of his fatherland. His scientific investigations had a considerable influence on the development of Soviet geography, climatology, agricultural meteorology, and a number of other sciences equals equals references equals equals equals